okay, the statement of retained earnings. We'll do the statement of retained earnings next, not the balance sheet, like I said at the end of the previous video. Okay, so you are done looking at the income statement for your own personal business, or maybe you're looking at the financial statements for a large public corporation. You can find those on the internet. Next, what you might want to look at is the statement of retained earnings. Remember from previous videos, what is retained earnings? Well, okay, in the accounting equation, you have your stockholders equity section, which is broken up into two parts, common stock and retained earnings. Retained earnings being net income, with the amount that the business decided to take out and pay the owners subtracted from that net income. Okay, so so there you go. That's what the statement of retained earnings is showing you. It's just a report on how much of the net income made during a time period was left in the business or how much of – you can look at it another way – how much of a business's net income was taken out to pay the owners. It's just kind of giving you a report on that. Just like the income statement, this statement is going to be for a time period. So you can't just drive by a business right now and take a snapshot of how much of that business's earnings the owners are deciding to take out of the business. Well, no, right? You, you, you're going to have to specify what time period of net income and money being taken out that you're talking about. Okay. As we talked about in the previous video on the income statement, how once you make your income statement at the end of a, like a you know a, a year period or at the end of operating period, you zero out your your expenses and your revenues. Well, what also will be zeroed out is is dividends too. So at the end of a period, you zero out your dividends. So for the next period, you can get a, you can get a fresh look at at dividends that were paid out during that period okay so that will be zeroed out as well you know like i said it doesn't for for this problem it, it's irrelevant because this business we made to simplify the problem this business began operations on april 1st 2017 but let's say it began operations on in march well we would we would have zeroed out this the dividends account at the start of april uh, but i don't think businesses zero out accounts every month like that they usually zero them out at the end of every year, but I think you get you get the point, okay? So, okay, let's make a statement of retained earnings for this business. Just like the income statement, what you'll want to do is put a title, a three-line title showing first the business name. Business name. Second line will be the name of the financial statement. This is a statement of retained earnings. And the third line will indicate the time period you are referring to. This will say month ended April 30th, 2017. You know, if you're if you're doing it year by year, you'd say year ended. ended April 30th, 2017. So the first line of this statement, you're going to want to show what the account balance of the retained earnings account was going into this period. Okay, so let, let's write this out. You're going to want to show retained earnings account balance going into this month April 1st 2017 so any statement of retained earnings you're going to want to do this for for this problem there is no no retained earnings account balance because this is the first month of operations, but let's say this business has been operating for a while, you know, year after year after year, the, the company makes different net incomes and pays out different dividends. 
So you can see, you know, if you've got a very profitable company, you're going to keep making, you're going to make income, income, income. This retained earnings balance is going to build, 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 build. So if, if you've got maybe Amazon been operating for 10 years, you know, I'm sure it pays out a lot of dividends, but you're, you're going to want to know going into the period, okay, how much money do we have saved up in the business for us to give out to people at the end of a period? So, so okay, so for this business, there is no retained earnings account balance because we just, we just started the business, so zero. But you can imagine, though, maybe Amazon, this would say, you know, a hundred million, right? Going into the going into the period. The next line, you're going to want to put what, what is the net income? What is the, the the equity you generated during this period? So net income or loss, if you had a loss, was what? From the previous video, you can take this straight from your income statement. That's one reason you do the income statement first, because you take this value straight from it. And the income for April was $3,820. So you add, you add these two values up, and it lets you know how much money do you have to work with to give out, to take out of the business and pay yourself. So you had, you know, you've been working for five years and you've been just doing great, but maybe you didn't have that good of a year in terms of income. You still might have a lot of money built up to pay yourself, right? Okay, so the next line will be what were, how much money did you actually take out during this period to pay yourself? Okay, which for a corporation here would be dividends. Dividends. This is going to be a negative number. Dividends paid during March. Okay, I have March here. This this is not right. This should be April. Okay, so the dividends paid during the month of April, $2,000. We took out $2,000 to pay ourselves. Okay, put, put brackets around it because it's negative. Okay. Your final line will be the retained earnings account balance, the new account balance as of the end of the period. Retained earnings account balance, April 30th, 2017 is the total here, 3,820 minus 2,000 would be $1,820. And, and you can imagine for, for our next period's statement of retained earnings, we'll just carry over this balance to the top. Okay, we'll come here. Okay, so, here, so there you go. There's your statement of retained earnings. If you're an outside in, investor, if you're looking at a, you know, if you're looking at a company on Wall Street's statement of retained earnings, or you're looking at your own business's statement, you can see what it's just showing you here. It's just saying, okay, how much money did you have to work with total? So you, how much money did you have saved up due to operations over the years to pay yourselves? And how much did you end up paying yourself? And what's the new balance at the end? 